Hey guys, in this lecture we are going to talking about the arithmetic operator in a PHP programming language. Before starting the arithmetic operator, we just need to understand that what is the operator exactly. Operators are symbols that tell the PHP processors to perform the certain actions. For example, let's suppose I just write a plus b. So a is a variable here, b is a variable here, but plus here is our operator. Same as a case like I just write a which is greater than b. So greater than sign here is our operator. a minus b, a divided by b, and you have to write a static b. Okay, so these all are the operators in the PHP programming language, or if you take your other languages like C++, Java, and any other programming language, so these all are the same as the operators. Now here, in this lecture, I will show you that what are the arithmetic operators in a PHP programming language. The arithmetic operator are, you know that these are the symbols which have plus sign is equal to sign, sorry, plus sign. Then you have to write minus sign. Then you have to write multiply sign. Then you have to write divide sign and the modulus sign. The modulus is declaration you have to write percentage sign as well. So let's suppose we have a which is a plus b. Then we have a minus b, a multiplied by b and a divided by b. Same as a case like a modulus of b. Here you can see that. Same as a case like you have to write your variable identifier with it. So this actions perform the additions, multiplication, sorry, subtraction, multiplication, divide, divisions, and the modulus right here. Now just turn to the example of the arithmetic operator and I will show you that what are these examples for. Here I just write this is the PHP right here, and then I just close this PHP tag right here. Now here I just write dollar sign x which is equal to here I just write 20. And then here I just write variable y which is equal to here I just write 50. Okay, so we have two values right here which is x is equal to 20 and then y which is equal to 50 right here. Now here I am just showing you that how we can write our assignments operator. Simply I have to write echo. Then here after that I have to write variable x which is let's suppose minus variable y. What will be the output of that? Here I just run this. So you can see in the browser right here. Sorry, in the browser of Google Chrome. So you can see here we have minus 30. This is just because of here you can see that you have to write 20 minus 50. So 50 is a greater than 20. So here this is the answer is 30 right here. Hope so you understand now. Now here I will go to add addition right here. Then here I will add subtraction. Then here I will add division and then here I will add the modulus sign. Okay, when I just go to the browser, run this, so this is not looking very cool. So here I have to write that this is dot and here I have to write that this is the BR tag for a single line back. Okay, when I just run this code, so yes, uh, this is the comma here, but this is dot. Okay, now here you will see that and same as the case like these are. Now when I just run this code, so firstly you have to see your subtraction, then additions, then multiplication, then division and then you have to write your modulus sign right here as you can see. Like these all are the assignment, sorry these all are the arithmetic operator in the PHP programming language. Hope so you understand now that what are the PHP assignments operator and how we use them. If you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture, please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture.
Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talking about the assignments operator in a PHP programming language. The assignments operator are used to assign the values to the variable, either as it is or after performing some arithmetic operations on it. How? Let's just see. Is equal to, which is a sign of assignment operator same is the case like you have to write plus and minus sign which is same as the, our arithmetic operators then you have to write minus is equal to then you have to write multiply is equal to and divide is equal to and the modulus and equal to these are some of the assignments operator in the php let's just see how these assignments operator work in the php so here i just write php tag and then close this php tag right here now here you will see that i have to write let's suppose variable a which is equal to 50. okay here you can see i just define echo statement and inside this echo i have to write that let's suppose this variable a so our output here will be you can see that 50 just because of i just assign the value to a which is 50 right here here you can see that when i just run this code into the browser right here so as you can see here my this output here is 50 right now now here you will see that i just close this and here you will see I just write dot then br tag for the single line break. Now after that I just write variable a and a which is equal to let's suppose I have to write this is for 40. Okay this is one other variable what I just declare right here or you can say that I just redeclare this variable right here okay. Here I just write a which is plus is equal to I just write that this is 20. Now here I just write this is echo which is a okay and then here I just close this code right here. So what will be the, our output right here when I just run this code so the our output here is 40 plus 20 which is equal to 60 right here. This is plus and equal to or you may say that the add sign assignment operator in PHP. Here the logic is created. What is you can see here this is plus and equal to. So here you can see that we have the variable a which is plus is equal to you have to write variable a again. Okay. Which means that you have write that variable a plus variable a okay which is 40 plus 20 which is equal to 60 right here now here you can see that i just write variable a which is equal to 50 then here i just write let's suppose uh, minus sign right here and here i have to write that this will single line break when I just run this code, so you can see here, this is 20 right here. You can see. And the output here is 30. Just because of 50 minus 20 here is equal to 30. Hope so you understand now that how we can use the assignments operator in a PHP programming language. If you find any of the problem regarding this lecture, please let me know. And thanks for watching this lecture. Hey guys, this lecture is consist on the comparison operator in a PHP programming language. The comparison operators are equal to. There is slightly different between equal to and this equal to sign. When you are assigning some of the value to the variable, so you have to write this equal to sign. When you are comparison between the two value, let's suppose a which is equal equal to a. 
okay or a which is equal equal to b so you have to use this statement if this statement meet so you have the expected result as a true if this statement is not meet so you have a expected result as the false then you have the identical operators where you can add 3 is equal to sign then you have not equal to then you have uh, not equal equal to which is identical right here okay here you have also write greater than sign then less than sign then greater than equal to and less than or equal to hope so you understand now that what are the identical non equal to not identical greater than less than and greater than or equal to and less than or equal to let's see this example into the php code here you can see that let's suppose we have the variable here is x and x is which is equal to here is right 10 then we have one another variable which is y and y which is equal to here is right this this is 15 okay here you can see here one another thing or one another variable what i am just adding right here let's suppose we have the variable a and a which is equal to here i just write 5 okay hope so you understand now that what data type i am using right here so this is up to you you can uh, judge your own so here you can see that at the last i will tell you that this is uh, what means what data type is it here you can see that i just write dollar sign x and x which is equal equal to dollar sign z okay here when i just run this code into the browser so you can see here google chrome so we have an error in line number 13 which is variable dump here and underscore which is equal equal to that right here sorry this is not z this is a because i am taking x y z okay sorry for that here when i just run this code so you can see here this is a boolean false why this is boolean false right here let's just see i just write 10 as well because the x is 10 and a is 10 as well when i just run this so this is a true statement here you can see that i just write a which is compare of 10 which is a string right here you can see and here i just said that like x which is also equal to 10 so the value here is also 10 and value here is also 10 here you can see that i just write a b c right here when i just refresh so you can see here this is a false value this is just because of here this is the integer type and this is a string type variable if i just match this string into the integer so you can see here this is showing me the true value right here so don't uh, confuse it right here just focus on this is equal to operator now here you can see that i am just writing the identical operators as well when i just run this code so you can see here this is a boolean value which is false this is just because of this is the identical operator because now it's checking the identity of this integer and the string as well hope so your concept is clear now this is the string type variable what i just told you that i will tell you later about this now here you can see that i just write x which is not equal to y okay here you can see so this is true just because of the value here is 10 and value here is 15 so this is not equal to then here i just write this is less than sign then here i have i write that less than or equal to then after that here i just write that this is greater than then here you can see that i just write that this is greater than or equal to and uh, now i just run this code here we have an error in line number 617 which is you can see here yes in the line number 17 which is less than or equal to yes here you can see that i have to write less than or equal to like this okay hope so you understand now now i just run this code so you can see here 
we have one value which is 10 then y value which is 15 and z value which is variable 5 okay here you can see that firstly the value here is true this is just because of we have x which is equal equal to sorry for that here we have the value 10 so x which is equal equal to a which means that 10 which is equal to 10 right here so this is true then we have the value of this is false just because of here we have the identical operator and identical operator check the identity which is x is equal is equal to a so which means that this is the data type uh, as the integer and this is data type as a string so that is false so that's why this boolean value here is false then here we have the boolean true value just because of x which is not equal to y so true because here we have the x is 10 and y is 15 so this is not true so that's why here you can see that this is the boolean value boolean value true right here after that we have the boolean value true just because of here you can see that i just write x is less than y so uh, sorry uh, here we have the boolean value true at this stage so i am just checking the code right now yes okay so x which is equal to 10 and which is less than or equal to y so this is true this is because y is 15 so this value here is true then we have the false and false statement just because of x is not greater than x is not greater than y because x is 10 and y is 15 right here and same as a case like last statement so x is 10 and y is 15 so that's why this value is also not true right here hope so you understand now that what are the comparison operator and how we use it in the php code this is very simple lecture if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to talking about the increment and decrement operators in php these operators are the unary operators for example they required only one operand hope so you understand now let's suppose we have a which is the value is plus plus and a is my variable right here and then we have the a which is minus minus so this here means that this is the increment operator and this is a decrement operator to deduct one value from your or to decrease one value from your operator uh, sorry uh, variable so you have this means that this is the decrement operator to add one value into your variable so this means that this is the increment operator we have four types of increments and decrements operator first one is pre increment operators which means that it will first increment the operator and then add one to it what does that mean let's suppose we have the value is 5 here so firstly if we are declaring echo here so at the first stage you can see here that will add one value here which is 6 and at the next stage this value will be 6 right here but if you are writing a post increment operator so firstly that will check the condition if this condition is meet which is 5 so firstly that will give you the output as the 5 and then that at next stage that will change the value and same is a case like our decrement operator so we have the pre decrement operator and the post decrement operator as well now in the coding i will tell you about that that how we use pre increment and post increment operator in a php and after that we also see the post decrement and pre decrement operators as well here you can see that i just write php and then close this php code right here now here at first stage i am just writing a pre increment operator right here what's that let's let's see we have the variable x which is equal to 5 okay and here i have to write this equal statement and this equal statement i just write a pre increment statement right here where i just write two plus signs then here dollar sign and x this is dollar sign and x right here let's just see here you can see that i just write echo 
then here I just get the value of that pre increment operator. So that will change at this stage. This value here is 6 and 6 as well. Let's just see the output right here, which is the increment and decrement operators for the pre increment here. So you will find the output right here. Sorry for that. I just uh, not open XAMPP right here. After running the XAMPP server, so you have find that this is my decrement of uh, sorry increment pre increment operator right here here you can see that i have to write let's suppose this is echo and here i have to write that this is a beer tag okay for the single line break so that will be a better understanding now so you can see here six and six right now now we just see that post facts or sorry a post increment operator right here here i'm just writing Let's suppose this is echo right here and echo here is I just write this dollar sign and get this variable right here. Okay. And after getting this variable right here, I have to write plus plus signature right here. And then you can see here I just write dollar uh, echo then dollar sign and X right here. Okay. Now you can see here. This means that this is a post increment operator. Now here when I just run this. So uh, it's better to add your value right here, which is the next value. Let's suppose we have dollar sign x and x here is equal to I just write 4. Okay, this is 4 right here. Now let's just see. When I just run this code right here, so and now it's fine. Now here you will see that. So firstly we have the value is 6 here then this value here is th at this stage you can see here we have the value here is 4 I just tell you about that and after this post increment so you can see here we have the value 4 here and after that you can see here we have the value converted into the 5 here it will add one value with 4 which is equal to 5 right here so this means that this is a post increment operator. Let's just declare a decrement operator like that. Okay, here you can see. Here we have the value 6. Then this is our pre increment operator. Sorry, pre decrement operator, which is minus minus sign. And then here you will see that I have to write that this is the value 10. Then here I have to write x and decrement operator right here run this course you can see here now we have the value 10 right here and this is the value 6 right here let's just see so firstly we have at this stage you can see here this is the value 6 here and I just want to decrement this value 6 so at pre stage or the pre decrement operator and initially this will change this value into the 5 here you can see that firstly that will show me the output as a 10 as the initial declarations in the post decrement operator and then here you can see that that will convert this value into 9 which means that 10 minus 1 so this is how we are using the increment and decrement operator in a PHP programming language hope so you understand now that how you can increment and decrement your variables in a PHP if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture, please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture. Hey guys, welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to talking about the logical operators in a PHP programming language. The logical operators are, let's suppose, we have the different types of logical operators like and, we have or, we have XOR and NOT operator. The AND operators is let's suppose we have the value of A and value of B. If value of A is matched value of B, so then we have the true result or if the value of A is not equal to the value of B, so here we have the resultant value is false right here. Then we have the OR statement. 
So in our statement, if value of a and value of b is true, so the resultant value here is true, or if a value is not equal to b, so this is also true right here. Then we have XOR operator right here. So it's returned the true if any out of two operands or the expressions return true. This means that if the value of A here is true and the value of B here is false, so one of them is true, so resultant value here is true. Then we have the not operator. This is a unitary operator and it's returned the true, it's returned the true value if the operand is returning the false. Let's suppose we have the value of A here is false. So that will return me the value here which is true right here. And if the value here is true, so that will return the false value right here. Hope so you understand now this is a simple logic of this logical operators. Now just see the coding example of that. Here you will see that I just write this is x and x is my variable here. Which is equal to here is write the value is true. Then I just write and sign and here I just write this is a false statement. Either this is true or false. Let's just see. This is the AND operator. So here I just write variable dump and here I just write AND x. Okay. Here you will see. So I just use the AND operator right here. So when I just check this statement into the browser right here. So you can see here this is a boolean value which is false. Just because of firstly we have the true value. Then we have the false value. So if we, if we have both values are true right here. So that will be gave us the answer as the true right here. You can see here true and true. So when I just run this, so you can see here this value here is true right here. So this is the AND operator in our logical operators. Now here you will see that we have variable y and y which is equal to here is write false statement and after the false statement I have to write that this is the logical sorry this is the logical or operators sorry for that and here and then here I just write the value is true right here okay then here this is variable underscore dump right here and here I just write this variable y here this is the logical or operator when I just run this into the browser, so you can see here this is a boolean true value because I just tell you about that, that one of these value here is true. So that will give you the answer as the true right here. Same as the case like XOR. Now here you can see that I just write variable Z and here you can see here this is variable Z and variable Z which is equal to here I just write that let's suppose we have not true. Okay. Here I just write variable underscore dump here and here I just write Z. Okay. And this is here you can see that this is a semicolon. Now I just run this code so you can see here this convert true into the false right here in the output. Hope so you understand now that how these logical operators work in a PHP programming language. If you find any of the problem regarding these lectures, please let me know. And thanks for watching this lecture. Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. And in this lecture, we are going to talking about the strings operator in a PHP programming language. The strings operators are used to perform the operations on the string. These are or there are only two strings operators, which is generally PHP built in functions are used to perform the various operations on the string. The first one is a concatenation. The concatenation is when you are just writing, let's suppose a dot sign and in last lectures we are used br for the single line break. So this is used to concatenate means we have to use this br string and another string together. Then, then we have the concatenation is Simon's operator where you write dot signature and is equal to sign. So this is used to append one string to the another. Let's just see how we use it. Here you can see that I just write 
variable a and is a which is equal to here is right php okay then here we have the variable b and the b which is equal to here is right that programming php programming here okay you can see here we have the two variables here with which is first one is a which is a php right here and here i have to write or i have to declare the php tag and after this i have to close it here you can see that i just write a equal statement here this variable a and i just join this variable a with a variable b right here okay now here you can see that the output for that so run google chrome here you can see that which is php programming which is joins together with the help of this dot concatenation sign right here now here you can see that i see that i just write echo then here is write dot which is equal to dollar sign b right here and at, after that i have to write dollar sign and a right here okay here you will see firstly i have to join this and then there is no using of this semicolon right here so when i just run this so sorry for that here you will see firstly that will join this together and here we have dollar sign a so here i will run this code so here you can see that the php programming and the php programming so you can also use the concatenation assignments as well hope so you understand now that how we can use our strings operator in a php programming language if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture.